Well, well, hello. So it's the last day before I am going on my PCT journey and um, there's not really like a lot to do, but might as well talk about some of the things that I have to do. First things first, the fear mongering has succeeded. We are bringing our mm, like heavier mid layer, our micro fleeces, not our alpha direct senchies. At least not for the beginning of it. Apparently it's really cold and people aren't saying that we should bring our mid layer, so we're bringing those. Also, my old food bag has some spots in there that I had to patch with some duct tape. And so I thought since one of my subscribers gave me a new food bag, I would just bring that one. And I just started brandishing it and that's one of the things I'm doing today as well. Another thing that I had contemplated was whether or not to sell my car or not. I really wanted to sell it because when you own a car you and you have a tag on it, you have to keep insurance on it, even if you're not driving it. And my minimum insurance for just a tag without anybody being able to drive it is like $72, which is really annoying and it really cuts into my budget. But... Um, I do have a roommate and I am, you know, keeping my car here just in case, uh, you know, her car will stop working. She has a backup as well as it would be nice to at least have a car when I come back home in the meantime while I'm trying to figure out what to do with life. And so one of the things that I need to do because she won't be driving it, she'll maybe start it once a, a month or something like that, um, I am putting like this stable, stable in there. One of my wonderful students and friends, Daryl, said to get the marine version, so I put some of that in there. And that just helps with that. And people do say to disconnect the battery if you're gone for long term, but since I do have somebody who can start it once a month, I am not gonna disconnect my battery. No, no, some of you might say, but Roadrunner, you can actually surrender your tag in the meantime and then just get a new tag when you come back, which would alleviate having to pay that insurance. And that is definitely something that I do still, uh, I am still thinking about on whether to do that. I did go to the DMV to ask a bunch of questions about the tag. And so if I am going to surrender my tag, which is nice, somebody else can drop it off for me it's gonna be without any problems. So that's still a possibility for me to save the $70, but I'm still like, not sure about it. The other thing I'm doing is I'm figuring out my food. Originally, little chap and I said, we only need about two, three days worth of food. And I'm definitely bringing four plus days of food. <laughs> it's, it's the like packing your fears for me, you know, like for sure. The whole bringing a thicker mid layer and bringing more food, yeah. So this is pretty much what I'm bringing when it comes to food. I really enjoy these cliff blocks for energy while you're hiking. They're supposed to give you some, I don't know, like what is it supposed to give some energy? <laughs> That's all I can say. And then uh, when Jiffy Pop picked us up from the Smoky Mountain hike. He had a bunch of cool things that I've never tried before. So honestly, I don't know how these things will taste, but I'm excited to try them. There's this bison, I think it's like beef jerky. And then the same thing, the original meat and veggie bar, curry, curry turkey, barbecue beef. I'm excited about that. My lunches are probably gonna be ramens. I love ramens for lunch maybe even at dinner at times um, or my lunch might just be snacks like these snacks right here so I love ramen my favorites are the soy sauce and the chicken flavored and then when it comes to more snacks I bought this Tahoe mango coconut some cliff bar pro meal on the go and then I am a big fan of Twix and Kit Kat those are my Candy bars, I'm not really a super fan of Snickers bars or anything. I don't mind it, but it's not really what I love and enjoy eating. These are the two that I love. And then on our Smoky Mountain hike, Little Chap actually had the Sour Patch Watermelon. 
and that was so good so i bought a pack it's super heavy it's like 12 ounces right and then of course i have never tried this before jiffy pop had that in his uh, resupply box and that just looks oh my gouda <laughs> Or Gouda, right? How Americans say Gouda, but it's really Gouda. Um, and then also, little chap had these cool sausage link things. Those tasted so good, and I bought some. And then my dinners are one, two, three, four dinners right here. Never tried this before. Also, a little, uh, not a little chap, Jiffy Pop had this in his resupply box, but it looks delicious. Smoky tomato paella, as well as Thai curry chicken. This is a chicken pad thai that I repackaged. And then this is like my own concoction, like rice with some onion soup, some cranberries and some nuts. So that should be pretty good. Um, what do you call it? Pretty good like energy. And then you see right here, I do have some vitamins and that's ultimately vitamin D as well as magnesium. And you might be wondering, why are you taking vitamin D when you're out in the sun? I don't think I am able to, my body is not really able to process or absorb vitamin D as much as a body should. So that's why I'm taking some extra. And magnesium, that's just for my nerves. I do have some anxieties and, uh, you know, I just feel like magnesium really helps with that and especially sleep. And then, then this is just a, like a little swipey midjiggy. So yeah, that's my food. And then I almost forgot my drinks bag with a bunch of electrolytes. So as you know, I love the royal milk tea. And then, yep, we've got some random fingers there. And then uh, <laughs> some electrolytes, I really like Propel. And then again, little chap had these pina colada peak refuel on his through on his hike on the Smoky Mountains, and I just love those. Apparently, I love everything that little chap had, so I bought some. And then these, I actually don't know where this uh, LM, these element packs are from. Somebody must have given these to me. I definitely didn't buy them. Uh, I think actually little chap gave this to me, orange salt, but I don't remember. But yeah, so a bunch of. Um, Electrolytes, tea, that's that. It's supposed to take us five hours and 40 minutes to reach San Diego. No, no, no. Four hours and 59 minutes. So now we are somewhere. <laughs> we don't know. Supposedly, where. this is where we'll meet the shuttle to go to the PCT, but we have three and a half hours to do this. So really, goal is to get some something to drink and something to eat, maybe. Look I have a feeling we're not really close to anything. So. A food truck. It's All right, we're gonna truck. try to something find something good. else maybe to something do. To well. Look at him vlogging there. Ooh. Been not very good at uh, saying anything. We're just walking around. We still have two hours until the shuttle comes. And then the shuttle is supposed to take us by REI and some general store. So we still have two hours they to- take the green store. I think it's where you can buy your green. No, I think it's actually like the color of the store is painted green. I think, I don't really know. It's a green. Now we're just randomly walking through pretend PCP stuff.
Just hanging here, waiting for the shuttle. Yeah, just around here. We just finally waiting for the last shuttle. Not last shuttle, the only shuttle. So right now they are taking some of the hikers already to the um, monument so that they can hike down but Chap and I decided we are going to hike it tomorrow on our actual date. And we're not seeing it because I don't want to see it until we actually get there to start. Yeah, we don't actually get to see it because you can't drive all the way up there. So. Which one's yours? That's it. I said I was going to like blindfold myself if we end up driving all the way up there. What is that noise? It's like a four, four runner, four oh, wheel you know thing. It sounded like it sounded like. Uh, remember the movie Crocodile Dundee, okay. where the the Aborigine like mm. does a wah, 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 like the. What are those called? I don't know. It's like a, a noise making thing they communicate with. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? Okay, let me. Take all right. So all set up. And then we've got little chap right there, me. And then Craig, Craig, right? Craig. Craig, yeah. Greg. Craig. What is your YouTube channel? I think it's just my name. Craig? Craig Martin. Craig Martin. Follow him, Craig Martin. He's got a YouTube channel. All 41 subscribers. All 41 subscribers. Let's make it 100. Let's do it. Come on now. Oh, yeah. Let them film in this. What, axes? Roadrunners. Oh, no. Video me drinking a can of water. Yeah. A can of water. Yeah, this is Mexican water. They come around and get a All right, so. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 